What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're going to have fun with not one but two 50 caliber handguns. The Desert Eagle and the 50 Cal Glock. I have a ton of stuff for us to shoot. Let's go get set up and have some fun. So first up, let me show you the guns we're gonna be using today. This is my 50 cal Glock. It is a Gun Crafter Industries 50 GI. And this is what it shoots. This is a 275 grain jacket at hollow point. And then we have the Desert Eagle. And this is my Kentucky Ballistics Desert Eagle that was done up by Outlaw Ordnance. It is absolutely beautiful. I don't get this gun out enough and it's because it's so pretty, I'm kind of afraid to use it, but I feel like you need to see it more. So I'm gonna start breaking it out in more videos. This thing has so much work put into this gun. Give you a look at the other side of the gun. You got Scott's hand cannon on the top, graphics on the rail, watermelon time. Absolutely beautiful gun and it's chambered in 50 AE as it should be. And this is a 300 grain 50 AE jacket at hollow point. And then here's the two rounds side by side, the 50 GI and the 50 AE. There's no sponsor for today's video. I just want you to do me a big favor and go subscribe to Kentucky Custom. I really think you're going to like it. There's a link in the description down below. Still waiting on that table sponsor. Oh, we're good. First, let's see how many 12 ounce sodas we can make it through with each caliber. First up is the 50 GI with a 275 grain jacket at hollow point. Oh gosh, oh. yesterday was leg day. Ah, all right, we're going for the Dr. K. Oh, oh, all right. We hit dead center, as you can tell. Shot through all the sodas, and I can tell you how I know that the round did not do what it was supposed to do, and that's because it rolled on the ground right back to me. 275 grain jacket at a hollow point did not open up at all. Just worked like a full metal jacket. Blew through all the sodas, hit the berm, didn't have any energy left, and then just kind of rolled back. It zipped right through them though. All right, up next is the Desert Eagle with a 300 grain jacket at hollow point. I expect this one to transfer a lot more energy. <laughs> Shredded those cans. So look at the difference here between 50 GI, round didn't do what it was supposed to do, it kind of just zipped right through the cans. But the 50 AE just completely annihilated all the cans. Up next is the nacho cheese test. And I already know what some of you are saying. Scott, don't shoot the nacho cheese. Well, guess what? You know what kind of cheese this is? Nacho cheese. Plus, I'm allergic. 50 GI on the left. Oh, boo. Now 50 AE on the right. Hopefully it does better. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that legit surprised me. I expected the 50 AE to do more, but not that much more. <laughs> I think I got used to shooting frozen nacho cheese and forgot what happens when you shoot thawed nacho cheese. So the 50 GI just kind of zipped right through it. I highly doubt the round expanded like it's supposed to, but the 50 AE did exactly what it was supposed to do. Ugh. You really think you're getting out of this? Up next, let's shoot some body armor. So this is soft armor made by Caliber Armor and it's rated up to 44 Magnum. I'm gonna set it up over there with a two liter behind it. Let's see if either Caliber can make it through it. Should have brought some water today. This is rather disgusting, okay. 50 Cal Glock is up first with the 275 grain jacket at hollow point. Go check that out. Okie dokie. The soda busted, but it didn't make it through. Check that out. That is right in the center of that. Oh, 
That's awesome. Got us another two liter of grape soda. All right, let's see if the Desert Eagle can do any better. Oh my gosh. So I was aiming for the C and I may have pulled to the right just a little bit and I hit right next to the 50 GI, but it doesn't matter. The armor still stopped the 50 AE. All right, let's see if we can bust these cinder blocks. They're each about four inches thick. 50 GI on the left. Not good, didn't do a whole lot. 50 AE on the right. Now take into consideration that those were hollow points we were using. So the 50 GI didn't actually do too bad. I mean, we were using a hollow point and it still smacked this thing hard enough to break it in half, but the 50 AE definitely did a lot more damage to the block. Yeah! It smells awful over here. It smells like somebody went to a college football game, ate everything at the concession stand, and then threw it up. That's what it smells like over here. Clean this table off real quick. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. The real question that we need to be asking is which caliber is better at exterminating eggplants? Because nobody likes eggplants. Got some distance on that one. 50 GI. 50 AE. Oh. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Not a whole lot left from the 50 AE. Ah. Ow! Guess what time it is. It's watermelon time. GI, I just don't think that those rounds are expanding the way they should. Just kind of busted through the watermelon about like a full metal jacket would. And for the Desert Eagle, well, uh, there's not a whole lot left. Ah! So before we wrap up the video, let's be at least semi-scientific. So I've got this clear ballistics block here. This is 10% ballistic gel, brand new block. Big thank you to the kind folks over at Clear Ballistics sending me this. Look how clear that is. Alright, first up is the 50 GI. Okay, well, the 50 GI 275 grain jacket at hollow point again did not act like a hollow point. Doesn't look like it expanded at all. It just has a straight little line right through that gel. Doesn't look like it had any energy transfer at all. And then we smacked into our 44 Magnum rated soft armor and cracked the block. Look at that. And it is flattened out now, but that's because it slapped the body armor and the cinder block. Obviously, if it would have expanded like that in the gel block, you'd have a much bigger channel than that. Okay. 50 AE. <laughs> well, we had a lot more energy transfer that time. And as you can see, the 50 AE definitely expanded in the gel, transferred energy like it should. Big difference in those wound channels. And then again, we smacked our 44 Magnum rated soft armor. And then here is the 50 AE. That is wicked. 
All right, well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I had a ton of fun. I don't think there's a lot to discuss when it comes to which round was more powerful. Obviously, it was the Desert Eagle. I'm pretty sure there's nacho cheese in the trees. If you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time.